All right, you ready to go? Here we go. There's camp. All set up. We've now got some water. Time for a coffee. And then we're out for a hunt. Got the old solar shower unit there for the water. And on our way to get the water we found a big scrape. We found some little beaches that have been thrashed. So there's some good sign around. So let's hope it's a sign of things to come. Here's another view of our camp. So here we are. This all down in there. Right in the middle of it. Lots of deer sign all around us. Okay, so it's day two. We're up on top of the ridge. Located the stags. There's at least three territory calling around us. And with a dose walk. <laughs> so that's really good. So we've got a fair idea where one of them is. He's about 250 metres away, so we're going to try and get in on him a little bit, to try and stir him up a bit more. And let's go. Let's find these stags. Let's see. The AJ with the amplifier. Got them all wound up. So I just found our first wallow. And when we got here, we had two days of rain, so it's been very freshly used. Nice big, nice big print in it. So I'm going to sit out and let out a few rolls and see what happens. Who knows? Pretty amazing country. Very nice. Right. Well, they shot a deer. There she is. I haven't seen bugger all. I don't know it's the raw, but meat before glory. I love venison. I must have winged her with my first shot because she just popped up into the fern here. Come down looking for her. She ran up the face opposite me. Popped her awesome. Yeah, you could hardly find a more picturesque spot. The camera doesn't really Look it up, but it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Here's the hind. There's the exit wound. Stuff up the shoulder me a little bit, then. Right. So we're ready to go. We've got a bag there with the front legs and all the back stakes, etc. The back legs there to carry out. 
since I've been sitting here doing the animal, I've been squealed at by a hind up behind me. It's moved into the area and picked up my scent. It's good to know there's deer around. It's your lovely spot. It's been Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Uh, we got an animal yesterday. Just picked up a hind. So it's good, we've got a bit of meat. Dad's got the new meat safe in the tree there. Um, and I'm gonna lead out a few rules, see what replies, and make a plan for today. It's still nice and early, so hopefully we'll pick up a stag today. At least get onto one. It'll be good. But the sun's out, so hopefully that might bring them out a bit. Who knows? <laughs> well, it's all happening here. And we've got thunderstorms rolling in. And we've got a stag roaring at us from across the valley. He's doing a combination of six and seven and mm. even eight he haws. So he's, all, he's all, all worked up. I think the thunder might have something to do with that. Okay, day four, so we had another good day on the hill. Um, came pretty close to a stag, but didn't get him. That was pretty exciting anyway. And uh, it's day four, so we're gonna have our first fire. So we've got the uh, drying rack set up. Dad's gonna light the fire. We've had a bit of a wash and washed some of our clothes. We've had four days of rain. Today's first afternoon, it hasn't really rained, so. Everything's pretty wet, so time to dry some of the stuff out, so it'll be nice and dry for tomorrow. Alright, the fire's going. Clothes are drying. And we just had a stag single from across the valley. It's the first single call we've heard from camp. I've heard a few out while I'm hunting, but that's the first one we've heard from here. And it's just across, just across from where we are. The ridge across there. I, I say just across, but yeah, it's freaking miles. <laughs> so you heard him. Here is day. Exciting end to a stag hunt, <laughs> wasn't it? Oh. We were coming up on the stag, Dad had stayed behind, single calling, and um, and he was up ahead of me, and I was trying to sneak up on him while Dad kept him calling. And he called, and then a hind stood up in front of me between the stag and and me, and so it was all over as far as the hunt was concerned because that hind was standing there looking at me. So I took the hind. Because we'll take meat any day. We didn't want that hunt to be a complete waste that we did. No. Fuck it, it all, all just about come together, didn't it? Yeah. Just about. Because he was still talking. He was, and he was just behind the hind on the top of the ridge. So we've got a bit of a bycatch from our, from our stag hunt. We've had the stag single calling for about an hour now. Dad stayed behind and and I tried to get in on it, but we walked right into one of, her, one of his sentinels. So a bit of a bycatch, we'll take some meat home anyway, so she was fr standing front on, straight into the chest there, so 
around about 80 metres, so all good. We'll take it. <laughs> so it's actually the camp's reflecting on our hunt. We left this morning at about 6.30 or something. We'd sat here, listened to some stags roaring. Thought we'd located one across the valley and made a beeline for him. We single called and roared him up and got him going and he was going and that's how the whole hunt started. It started from camp this morning when we heard him roaring. Oh, an awesome dad just shot us there. He might still be kicking, Dad. He's still kicking. Come straight into us. <laughs> Alright, just came another one. <laughs> oh, he just came straight into us. He's not big, but... Oh, man. Well, what do you reckon of that? <laughs> Come from nowhere, eh? Shut right? you. I just said sit down and wait because we had a good view across the end. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely area. I heard him coming. Yeah. And I mean, the shot was only, what, 10, 15 metres? Oh, a bit more than that. Yeah. Mm. But he was trotting in, wasn't he? Yep. Yeah. Bloody good. Bloody good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's what we came for. <laughs> we gave a territory call about 10 minutes ago and this little fella wandered in. Um, but we've been listening to, it, to them carry on from camp, so... We knew roughly where they were, they're, they're quite low, and they're not, we're not up by the top of the ridge really. But I was sitting right beside Dad and Dad said I can see him and he cut across and then he walked straight into us and Dad barreled him. Beat me to it Dad. Did you see him? Yeah. Oh, I should have him for him. No, it's all good. I'm stoked, that's awesome. No, that's all we came for. I had a clear shot. Oh no, nah, take straight it. Straight down man. the gun. Take <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be... Um, <laughs> That'd be good if you have uh, left it, but that's bloody awesome. I might have missed it, mate. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice one. It's been a while since you shot a stag, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yep, yeah. I've seen one for a while. <laughs> oh, that was neat to see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, here we are with our first stag. First team stag. <laughs> team hunting the seeker. Two boys on the job. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> So I picked up two hinds and now I've got to carry this bugger out as well. Yep. We just did a meat trip back to where the helicopter picks us up, so. Yep. Now I've got an even bigger mission. Got the job ahead of us, we've got to fly out tomorrow. Jeez. <laughs> got to get our gear out plus the sky. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the back legs, the front legs and the stakes and we're going to take this super sized trophy that we've got. <laughs> uh, So we're only 15 minutes from camp and that was at, at stalking pace so I'm sure we can walk back there a bit quicker. So, packing up, head back for a cup of tea, we fly out tomorrow. <laughs>